and we had some serious issues going on. What well, I can't lie, I be trying to cover stuff up, and like, like y'all don't understand how many people I can't say in my close circle, but people who were your friends that like think I'm doing highway robbery by just having a YouTube channel and child. Well, that's why I don't be putting my business out there. You right, do right. <laughs> Cut off another one. I don't even put up yet. Yep, I'm a white hanger person. When I worked in the office and I had. Riley, get your behind back here. Child, she get on my nerve. And he's calling back to back. So I'm thinking it's an emergency. He in a panic. Hey, do you have traps in your backyard? I hear some animals in distress. Child, that shit pissed me off on multiple levels. Before we used to come in the backyard and I wouldn't even think about her. Now when I come in the backyard and I hear her strolling behind the shed, I'm like, this heifer up to no good. The doctor had told me not to um, drink any more alcohol. And when he said that, I had kind of like blackout on the rest of the list. I'm on time. Okay, so how she can schedule us some interviews at eight. I don't even turn on that work computer on quite yet. Cause it's 745. I had to send my insurance card to the doctor because um I've been having some health issues. I think it's a lot from like stress. I don't know. Doctor doesn't know. They just say many things can cause it. But on Friday was a super busy doctor day for me. Now I had made it my priority that I was gonna like go to the doctor on a regular because I really hadn't been going. I did videos on this when I first started my channel on my foot surgery, which my foot is fine. I mean, I don't like the way the man did the surgery, so that's why I never got the other foot done. But right before my foot surgery, I had to get a hernia repair. I be having issues. Um, if it's swallowing food, whatever. Some of it I already knew was gonna be an issue from the surgery, but some of it I don't think so. Like this big stomach. So I really feel like this stomach comes from um my food getting stuck right here and just not digesting well so i've been doing like a lot of um teas and stuff to help me like kind of detox but i also just need to find out from the doctor what i can and cannot eat now don't y'all be coming in here and giving me no suggestions because i'm about listening to said suggestions <laughs> that ain't my life but i am going to the doctor today so i have that appointment today that i've been needing to do for eternity i mean i think i went on my birthday trip and i was just like okay i need to figure this out that's when i started doing like the heavier detoxes but that's why I just started doing detoxes, period. I was so upset that like my dress was so nice and I looked like I was like six months pregnant. But well, it's not the end of the world. That kind of stuff bothers me and then it don't. <laughs> I'm like so blessed that I was able to even have a birthday trip like that. I'm like, cha please. Now I'm going to go to the doctor today. And then before I started my day today, I really needed to get stuff back to my other doctor because um, I took my sister out a few weeks ago and we had some serious issues going on what well, i can't lie i be trying to color stuff up and like i get a little worried about like sharing stuff online because like y'all don't understand how many people i can't say in my close circle but people who were your friends that like think i'm doing highway robbery by just having a youtube channel and child well that's why i don't be putting my business out there you right do right <laughs> cut off another one and i'm actually fine with that my family we've always been raised to like keep things to yourself and stuff like that anyhow i guess i'm i'm breaking some some generational curses i don't know i don't even know if it's a curse as much as it is like this is the internet and people be saying all kinds of stuff and i'd be like child i just need to put my business out there but i've been having some issues there were chest pains my sister had to rush me to the er we went out one night and it totally scared me the chest pains were on this side. If they were on this side, I truly would have thought I was having a heart attack. So I was really kind of scared about that. So I finally went to the doctor on Friday, which was about two weeks. I got you, Frank. Um, which was about two weeks afterwards. And so I had to send in my insurance card because I just, I don't know why I didn't have damn insurance card on with me. So then I go to the gastro doctor today. I got up early. I started some vitamins and I think that really, really helped. Like shockingly, I woke up so refreshed and like, girl, come on. Usually I'm in that bed like, but you got 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so we shall see. I got to put my insurance card in here. I already sent it to them. And then I got the doctor's bill for the ER visit. And then people got me at $6,000. So, child, I need to call them and get them my insurance card because they don't have any money for me for the insurance card. I don't know where to give me these patient adjustments for $3,000. But still expect me to pay $6,000. But 
um, that ain't happening. So I have my little Moxie Life journal. This helps me keep my life together. So I'm gonna just put this in my Moxie Life so I don't forget to do it. Because right now I need to move Moxie to the side and get rolling. Kashiki has us on several interviews. So I feel better about this. I wanted to close some of these damn windows so they got too many open, but that gonna take me into a whirlwind and make me start thinking about something all the way di different. And that's just the only way I need to be. I'm a little upset because I wanted to finish my calibration sheets last night. So I let a lot of my people like break it down from one to the other on the damn calibration sheets and now i gotta go back and put them together some of my leaders help me out and some of them i'm like extra work for me but it kind of helps me make sure they're all done so i need to finish that i need to finish some comp plans like for our sales people they get variables um and so i really wanted to get their variable plans upload it into the system so i need to finish that and i and i say upload into the system but it's just the employee file so i need to do that i need to do the calibration sheets those are two things that's going to take me a while and then my brand and content our content and um audience vp she sent me like a list friday night we we're off on monday and tuesday i was jam pack with meetings so today is wednesday and i have a whole bunch of interviews and then i go to the doctor so i really want to get her compensation stuff out so we can get moving with that it's really i feel i don't want to be the hold up i don't think i'm gonna hold up i don't want to be the hold up fire items this week is calibration sheets which i should write this inside my um my moxie life comp adjustment plans or merit plans not even merit they're just bonus plans and then comp data because i owe her comp some comp data and some other people but comp data takes a while to pull but now i'm gonna jump on these interviews as soon as i finish updating my calendar and try to get rolling because there's nothing but interviews and i feel like a damn recruiter all over again having a bunch of videos for y'all about me doing interviews so i'm not recording any of the interview stuff because this is my last day doing them i'm gonna tell how she can i ain't doing them all there are four of them today i do have one of my departments to have a meeting but i'm not gonna jump on that one i don't need to and then i got one other meeting so i'm gonna jump on that but beyond those all the rest of my morning stuff is interviews and then i go to the doctor so I'm going to be chatting with y'all, but I don't want y'all sitting here watching me doing no interviews. They get on my nerve every time I edit it because I'm like, I ain't supposed to be doing this. <laughs> We're doing these different meetings. So the L&D team is doing what we call career week. At first, I was really pushing back on it. The way that they envision it would be for a team that's just going. But we've had so many organizational changes that I was just like, this ain't gonna work across the board they were pushing back on me like yes it will work so now they're getting on these meetings and hearing directly from the managers and the xlt team and they're like okay tamika what do you suggest i suggest the same shit i told you before we got on this call but anyhow but because my my leaders are on these calls i'm giving suggestions like on the spot of like what i'm trying to explain but i think that's the difference too the lnd team doesn't really know our brand as well and as well as they could and the jobs just aren't all the same like how they are in the call center over india everybody's doing primarily the same thing here people are doing a little bit of everything so we just got off of that call which i think worked out really well i totally got on that one late and i was so upset with myself because i wanted to hear how it started but i've been on a couple of them I had an idea how it started they were using the same deck so that ran me over to getting on this call so there's a bit of a relief to not have to dive into this interview so if they don't attend this person doesn't attend it's okay we'll send them an email we'll give them just five more minutes but if they don't jump on they don't respond to the email then you can send it to them ask them if they want to reschedule but like i would say if they don't respond in like a week just go ahead and reject and move on because we need to identify a candidate So <clears throat> I'm gonna just be putting on my shoes right now. But in the midst of doing these interviews, I had one meeting and that meeting was about our learning and development team. They're doing like a career week. 
I just got to be on those meetings when they with my stakeholders so that my stakeholders can know that some of these things just ain't working like the L&D team try to plan for. I mean, great initiative, but some of the things need to be ironed out. Now I'm just going to grab my purse, my earpiece. Of course, I'll grab y'all in two seconds. But my sister has my car because she had a doctor appointment. She didn't tell me she didn't get the car to my mama. So I didn't call an Uber. So I'm pretty much wasting money. If I go to cancel, they're still going to charge me a whole bunch of money. So it don't make sense to cancel. So I'm just going to grab like all of my notes here. Because I told y'all I am a notebook queen. <laughs> if y'all ain't been around for a long time where I've explained my notebook strategy, then this might come off a little different to y'all. But this is my medical notebook. <laughs> And this is where I keep track of all my medical stuff. So I've been keeping track of this since like 2017 or something. I used to not go to the doctor often, but it's just getting older. She now 40. So if y'all didn't see me celebrate my 40th birthday in Cabo, Mexico, then I'm going to share it here. But things are changing. My body just telling me all kinds of stuff. And I always take me like a bottle of water. I usually keep one in my car. My mom's going to meet me at my doctor's appointment and pick me up and bring me back. So I'm going to peep at my calendar real quick because I think... The Uber is like five minutes away, so I really ain't got like a bunch of time, so I got to get moving. But I try to like touch on with my calendar and make sure all is well. I do have a resignation I need to work on and do the transitioning for that person. I also need to finish getting in these calibration sheets. So I worked on that in between calls, like in between the interviews today. It's like getting all calibrations from each department onto the master calibration sheet. I'm gonna just look up this manager. Bad thing about it is this manager has been experiencing some emergencies in his family. So I kind of feel bad about meeting with him, but this work we got to do. So I'm gonna schedule this real quick. And I'm gonna just tell him in the subject of what it is. So it's about this exit and calibration sheet. Cause he is the only manager that has not given me his calibration sheet. I just don't know what's going on with it. So I'm headed to the doctor. I'll show y'all a bit of that. I told y'all it's all about my whole digestive problem that I have. I am tired of the stomach looking like, okay, I'm pulling it in for y'all. But if I just relax, it, it sure like I'm pregnant. It's giving pregnant vibes. and just, just ain't trying to have no babies. I'm tired of like cropping my videos to hide my stomach. <laughs> so lately y'all been seeing a lot of my stomach. I was like, I'm gonna just give them all of it. We gonna go to the doctor and I'm probably have a quick combo with y'all. After that, my day is gonna end. <laughs> right now I'm nervous that I'm gonna miss the Uber ride. So let me go. So since it's just me and Riley, I guess I'll show y'all what I do when I'm trying to leave, right? I got all this stuff. It's pretty, it's ironically like feel pretty good out there, but I better grab a jacket anyhow. So I normally will take this little thing here and put it to my back door. Make sure nobody don't come in and steal my baby. But I'm only gonna be gone for a couple of seconds. And then another thing that I tend to do is when I'm about to leave, because my dining room table is like literally right in front of my garage door to go out to the car. I normally start, set whatever I need to leave with right there. Child got a system for everything. If I ain't got no system, y'all, I am lost and I don't really know <laughs> what I'm gonna do. Like I get a little nervous that like I'm gonna forget something. My friends always laugh at me because when we go out of town and we about to leave, they're like, Mika, you be having 50,000 to do's. And I'm like, yes, I'm all over the place, guys. So I'm gonna just grab a quick jacket. There's some stuff I still need to put up. I don't put up yet. Yep, I'm the white hanger person. I've been working on organizing at the top. Like over there still look kind of funny. So I'm gonna work on that. But I get all these containers, primarily from container store. So I'm gonna keep on organizing that because my closet is pretty small. I gotta make it work for me. And then I'm gonna just go outside until this man come because I normally leave out my garage door. So I normally don't carry a key with me, not a house key. I mean, I carry one, but I damn sure don't use it. So when I leave, this is my door lock. I can use my my fingerprint, but this time I just locked it with the app on my phone. I thank you so much for picking me up. Just so y'all know, this is what I have in my stomach. And see where it sits in right here? So that I had an operation a couple of years ago and got this in. And this is where it sits in my stomach. Hey y'all, ta-da! We back at home, in the house. Everybody went to the doctor. She was telling me 
sorry. Um, Rally is, uh oh, let me see if I can show y'all. Sis is really chilling out right here. Y'all know she ain't ever far, but I really have had her kind of in torn off a little bit because um, I've already been to the doctor all that time. Come on, I need to go. You coming? Come on. Okay. I haven't had her out for hours now. Doctor feels like I have gastrophoresis where my stomach is empty and super duper slow. And to be honest with y'all, I done had it all my life. It always takes me forever to like empty my stomach. The problem is it's just taking longer and longer and that's just not good. But anyhow, so we're going to just do some diet adjustments real quick and get my diet together, which I totally agree. Because y'all know the doctor, but then tell me, well, y'all might not know. But the doctor had told me not to um, drink any more alcohol. And when he said that, I had kind of like blackout on the rest of the list. Because <laughs> I'm going to get me a drink. She, especially working at HR, child, please. I be needing a drink. That's the thing. They get me back to work the next day sometimes. I mean, I'm passionate about it and all. But some stuff, I, it, it requires daily therapy. And when I can't make it to my counselor, that's my therapy. <laughs> but yeah, so got that update from the doctor. And then... We were, I think we were talking about having one meeting and I told him I wouldn't be able to attend. I, we were going to have another one of the uh, the help desk sessions, but I told him I wouldn't be able to make it because I was going to the doctor. So I already talked to the coordinator and the other HRBP, so they knew I couldn't make that one. Tomorrow is pretty much a full day. I did get a lot of the calibration sheets done. Like I got a lot done. I do have the manager, the one leader I have on my sales team that has not completed his calibration sheets, which is kind of good that it's just one. But I need to do a touch on with him. He's a little bit older, so I just wonder if he really gets it. Typically, my older leaders, they usually won't help with these calibration sheets, which makes sense because these calibration sheets, they're really, they could look like really complicated Excel sheets. But I'm going to have a call with him and he has an employee that's charming, so I'll kind of couple that call into one. And so I scheduled that for tomorrow already. And so what I want to do is get all the calibration sheets completely in. Like I'm, what my sales side, I'm probably, I'm probably about 70% about done, I feel. So I feel like if I finish getting that done today, now I can see if it's just his team or everybody else. Plus our teams, they get like these, uh, they all get variables or commission and bonuses, primarily commission. And so I need to put that in all their files and ADP. So I'm going to do that today too. So all of that is just a bunch of like tapping on the screen. And it's a bunch of stuff y'all can't see. <laughs> because it shows all these employees' names and stuff. Now the calibration sheet y'all might not be able to see. But I don't want nobody to try to zoom in and get me in trouble. Because y'all know I ain't even, I'm not even comfortable with this blogging, vlogging, whatever. I can totally see why other HR professionals that have YouTube channels are like, no, it's too sensitive. Like we bounce between sensitive and non-sensitive all day. And so when I worked in the office and I had, Riley, get your behind back here. Child, she get on my nerve. Anyhow, when I worked in the office, the problem was like, if I didn't have a private office, like shared offices, I always had to worry about that protection thing. So it's really good that I work from home and I don't have to worry about that. So let me tell you about a whole nother situation going on. I'm gonna just show y'all real quick and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be done with this. I had a bunch of raccoons in my backyard and they were, they just get on my nerves. So my uncle, he is a hunter. So I call my uncle and be like, yo, what are we gonna do with these raccoons? So we set up a trap and I knew there were at least three of them that like coming in my little area. Cause they started coming in the daytime. Y'all know they're nocturnal, but they be coming in the day. So I asked him what we gonna do. So we set the traps out, right? When we set the traps out, I got two of them out of three, but these cats are scree cats and they roll all over the place. And there's a bunch of them. Somebody has said, I want to see the cats child. I, it's so many of them. They get on my nerve, right? They got caught up in the trap. <laughs> so my neighbor, who in my opinion knows you, what are you worrying about my yard for? He calls me in this panic one day. I'm in the middle of a resume review. Was trying to rush and do that on lunch break so I can get back to work and not be late for a meeting. He calling me from my cell phone or Facebook. And I'm thinking like, it's an emergency. Like, oh my God, he never calls me. And he's calling back to back. So I'm thinking it's an emergency. He in a panic. Hey, do you have traps in your backyard? I hear some animals in distress. Child, that shit pissed me off on multiple levels. First of all, what are you doing worrying about my backyard? Second of all, if you so worried about saving these cats, why are you taking them in your house? You're only taking two. We got like 20 of them out here. And three, why are you calling me in the middle of the day? I, you know I work from home. And you know I'm my, I'm the only person that got income coming to my house. You got a whole wife. Who be interrupting me in the middle of the day? You see me outside and that's cool at work. So I be worrying about Riley because when I put the traps out there, it was like Riley would smell the food. So now she done built this hole. So this is one trap, what, where one trap was. 
So it's kind of like, it's definitely a hole here. Oh, okay, y'all see? Okay, yep, so there's definitely a hole there and then there's another one. So now I did that to keep the raccoons out and keep Riley ass in. Now, she be going out there. Like she's supposed to be going out in the wild. If you don't keep it behind the ski. So now I'm gonna have to figure out some time this weekend where I can just get my shovel and close them holes back up. Before we used to come in the backyard and I wouldn't even think about her. Now when I come in the backyard and I hear her strolling behind the shed, I'm like, this heifer up to no good. So I always have to go check on her. But anyhow, I'm gonna close this out today because like I said, everything that I'm about to do at this point now is just gonna be me typing. Y'all ain't got no patience like them content creators to be focusing on angles while I'm working. And I get on work mode. So like, I'm not just just dump it. Lord, I done talk my neighbor up, child. He just pull up. Anyhow, um, I'm not just dumping information from one sheet to another. I am literally like looking at trends, looking at things I need to focus on. Like what are the next steps for some of these situations? So ain't that easy. Now the comp ones, when I put them up into the system, that's super easy, but I don't want y'all missing see nobody name. So we gonna end this vlog right here. <laughs> I think Riley's done. Like she's been goofing off, so I don't even know what she did. So I might give her a couple minutes, grab me a bottle of water. Because when I'm done with that, then I gotta go to the chiropractor. I go to the chiropractor on Tuesdays, but I booked the last minute interview prep call yesterday and let my sister borrow my car and all of those things threw me off. So I moved my appointment to today. Normally I go to the chiropractor on Tuesday. And then when I come back home, I need to knock out some resume reviews. So child, I'm gonna talk to y'all next vlog. Let me know if y'all want me to do another one. Cause as long as y'all keep saying, yeah, I'll keep doing them. We shall see. I've been trying to plan out what kind of days I'm gonna do because I can't do like a busy day again. That should drive me crazy. And so today I was like, okay, let me show them what it's like when you have other stuff to do in the middle of the day. So that was my doctor's appointment. I have changed my office <laughs> three times. I've been in this house seven years and I have changed my office around three times. So I'm changing a little something else to it. So I was gonna go through and show y'all that. And then I had something else I was gonna show y'all, but I know that I'm gonna be busy for a while again, where I, I think it's gonna be hard for me to vlog, we shall see. But when my other VP starts, it's gonna be pretty difficult. But we gonna see, we gonna see how we gonna work this, okay? I'm just gonna try to like plan these things around themes because busy day was a bad idea. Y'all already know, this is how I should be in and I've been messing up because it's a vlog. But we gonna go back to my same ending and I love my ending. I cannot wait to see y'all on the next video. <laughs>